I've been inoculated. Uh, I've had the vaccines, um, AstraZeneca, and I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. I feel confident that I'm going to come through this okay. You know, I suffer from a thing called ocular myasthenia gravis. Now, in with my sinus gravis, a few years ago, a common cold put me in hospital for a week, just a common cold. When I got back to Australia, my doctor and then the specialist said it was you know, vital that I get uh, vaccinations because the obvious reason, if a common cold can do that, what could uh, a serious illness do? It, it could be very critical or even possibly fatal. I think in this argument with pros and cons, pros and cons, People are leaving out of this argument um, that uh, there are people like me who have compromised immune, immune systems and, you know, we can't afford to have this argument. If, if, I, if in a small place I lived in in Queensland, is the only one who refused to allow his kid to have the polio vaccination, his kid got polio, crippled it. Yeah, that, that, that's in my that's in my life. That's something that I witnessed, you know, as a kid, and a profound effect on me. Uh, you know, it's just uh, I don't know why people. Uh, it's okay to have your own sense of beliefs, but to fan the flames all over society, that's not on. Now I'm very uh, pro-vaccinations, but I'm not out there holding rallies. <laughs>